Okay, uh, this is another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be covering um, creating a uh, button in a trigger and also creating a button using a uh, action definition. Uh, this is for the editor version 1.0.3, just in case they update and this stops working, of course. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is uh, I have my editor open. I don't have a map. So I'm going to create one new and I'm going to change this to custom and then I'm going to create a small map because all we're doing is uh, triggers and actions and stuff so I'm going to press OK that way of course it loads faster when I go to test it alright I'm going to open my triggers which is this button right here or F6 alright and I've got this first uh, default trigger. I'm just going to delete it. There we go. Alright, the first thing we're going to do here is create a button and a trigger. So we need to create a trigger. And I'm lost. There we go. And let's just call it create a button. Now this is a trigger called create a button. Um, of course with every trigger you got to have some kind of event so we just want this on map startup or map initialization and we're going to create a dialog uh this di what a dialog is it's the um it's the big box that buttons or any other kind of dialog is placed in so uh, you'll have your bigger box with the uh, border and then you have your all your buttons inside of it so let's create one of those right here. This is the uh, create new action or control R. And we want dialog. Dialog is right there. And we're, we want to create dialog. And OK. All right. All this right here, we can just leave it as it is. Don't need to really edit anything. Um, we will. We'll go over that in another tutorial or something, uh, and we'll edit these two in the second part of this tutorial. Uh, the next thing we need to do is create a dialog button. This is the actual button itself. So we're going to create a new action and dialog, and we're going to create a dialog item and make it a button. So now underneath this we have. A few, quite a few options. The only one we need to uh, edit is this button text. Just double click on it and I'm just going to put it in. Actually I'm going to name it um, button in trigger. Alright, there we go. Press OK and you're done with that. Uh, the last thing we got to do is we have to display the dialogue to the players and so we're going to show the dialog just create a new action and this is underneath dialog also scroll down and show hide dialog alright and by default it's set to hide click on it and there will be a show option um, this last created dialog it's this dialog we created right here is the last one so that's the one it's going to show and it's going to show it to all players. Uh, this right here is a dialog item, which is the button, so it's included in this dialog. You don't have to worry about show, showing or hiding that uh, right now with this tutorial. <coughs> Alright, uh, I'll go ahead and run this so you can see that this, uh, this right here works inside the trigger. Need to get a new computer. This takes way too long to load. Okay, there we go. All right, as you can see, the dialog box is this right here. 
this big box. The dialog item, which is a button, is this right here. And seek button and trigger. As you notice, you can click on it, it makes a noise, but at the moment it doesn't do anything. So now that we got that. Alright, next thing we want to do is create a button with an action definition. Alright. So we gotta create an action definition. This is an action that can be called by any trigger. So let's go over here. And where you create action definitions is on this side, underneath your triggers. Go down new. Go over and action definition or control alt R. I believe this is oh, there has to be a one over here somewhere. Function. Ah oh, there we go. That's action definition. That's the button part. And we're gonna name this create a button. So it's gonna be the same name as our trigger, but this is the action definition. Alright, and what it uh, what I meant by uh this can be used by any trigger. If I created a new map and I had this button this action definition creating a button and I wanted to use that in another map I could just go up copy this open up the new map and paste it in and then call it with a trigger in that map and it would work alright so what we're gonna do now that we got that created we're gonna create a dialogue of course this is the big box that all the dialogue items go into and we're gonna do that in our action definition. So come down here to actions, create a new action, dialog, and this is all the same. Well, at least this next few steps are all the same as what we did in the trigger. All right, and oh, not destroy, create. There we go. All right, and if you notice here, I've got one little thing we need to do differently it's we're going to change the dialog position to the top left of the screen the reason we're going to do this is so uh, we're letting both of these the tr the button we created in the trigger and the button we're creating with the uh, action definition be displayed on the screen at the same time if we just leave this in the center they're just going to overlap so what you do is just click on the center or this anchor center and we're going to change it to top left. There we go. That way it won't be overlapping the other one. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a dialog uh, sorry, create a dialog button. Of course that's the button. So come down here dialog create dialog item button. Okay, remember the only thing we have to edit is this right here. I'm going to call this button with action, well I'm just going to call it button with AD, action definition. Press OK. Alright, next thing we got to do is we, of course we got to show the dialog to the players. So we're going to come up here, create a new one, new action, there's dialog, and of course we're going to go down to show hide dialog, and change it from the default hide to show. And what this is going to do, this is going to show the last created dialog. The last created dialog will be this one right here. And then it's going to show it to all players. Alright. Well, one last thing we've got to do is we have, we have to create the new action definition inside the trigger. So, this action definition doesn't run on its own. This trigger has an event and we, on that event it's going to do everything underneath here so what we got to do is we got to add our new action definition under there somewhere so it actually runs and since we created it it's going to be underneath general I've noticed right there create a button just press OK and there's create a button and so it's going to go down it's going to make the first button and then it's going to call this create a button and it's going to make our second button all right now let's go ahead and run this. So, long start up again. Oh, that was actually pretty fast. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the button we created with the trigger. This is the button we created with the action definition.
What's the difference in the two? Uh, they both create the, the button in the exact same way as far as the button and dialogue is concerned. The, what they actually do differently is this is in the trigger itself and this is in an action definition. Okay, This is more mobile uh, module. Uh, you can move it from uh, map to map, no problem. You can use it at different places in your map on the, in different triggers without having to rewrite it. This right here, you'd have to copy paste or, or just completely rewrite it. Um, go to triggers. This right here is, if you're serious about making maps, is probably what you need to start doing. Uh, is in action definitions. If you find like, if you need to create a like buttons throughout the game, uh, just create an action definition. Once you get more familiar with what they can actually do, it'll be a lot easier for you to. To you know, edit them and get them to, to do all these kind of nifty little things like display uh, custom uh, button sizes and dialogue sizes on every uh, every time you call the uh, action definition with the same code, so you don't have to edit anything except for two little parameters, and then it'll change all that for you automatically. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please post a comment asking them and I'll try to get to them of course request things you'd like to see um, I am learning myself so I'm trying to cover what I learn with everyone else that way they don't have to go through all the steps of breaking down the more advanced tutorials just to learn the basics okay thanks everyone and happy playing